habit. So first of all, um, let me share with you a bit about Writer's End. So essentially, we, our team in Writer's End started out as a digital SEO content agency for about six to six, seven years. And we were working on a hardcore big uh, project and we have to use several tools to do that. And there's a few observation and, and a few lesson we see as we were working on, on as we were working as an SEO agency. And the first observation is SEO is going to change um, dramatically in the next five years. And it changed because simply of the fact that Google is getting smarter every day, right? So back in the day, Google used a lot of different signal to determine whether or not your website should rank because deciding on what website rank means that Google understand the intent of you of your website so that it can match that intent to the right and corresponding keyword people search, correct? So as Google gets smarter, things that are technical signal before like backlinks um, like your um, the referral links, um, all the social signals and all that stuff slowly get a lot more less and less important simply because now when a bot go into your content, you can they can actually detect and understand the context and meaning of what you're trying to write. They, Google was not able to do that be, before. Understanding a context is only a human thing to do until very recently with their new AI and NLP, natural language processing, you know, uh, algorithm, their bot was able to go in there and understand exactly what you're trying to, to write. That's partially show by the fact that back in the day, you can simply rank a website by just putting a bunch of backlinks in your website, or you just throw a bunch of keywords and Google bot would get confused and think that, oh, wow, this website has so many of these keywords and have a lot of backlinks. I'm going to rank this on the top because that's what users want that no longer the case now and going forward it's continued to get worse so if google gets smarter every day what's left for you you know what makes your website better than your the other competitors and the only thing that is better is actually two things the way you organize your information in your website so that when a google bot going they know and they think they believe that you are the expert in the subject that you try to rank your organization and your topic that you chose. Like if you want to rank for uh, exercise, you better write about nutrition. You better write about diet. You better write about make, you know, a metabolism or food choice and all that stuff, because you need to cover all the topic in order for Google bot to know that you are a reliable source of information. So that's the first. The second thing is, the value and the quality of the content that you write. It is no longer the case where you just simply go up and then write a 500 words and then leave it there and hoping that it's to wreck. Your content, whatever it is, has to give meaning and quality and value for the end users because Google can test that easily. So we have a lot of cases where we will try to do SEO for a certain website. And then there will be a moment where our keyword would jump from rank 50 suddenly to rank one. And I was like, wow, this is great. We are now finally getting to you know, rank first and we, we show it to the clients. But in just two weeks, it dropped back down to 40. And only later on, I understand that the moment Google sh show your, your, your keyword into the top, that's the period of Google trying to test your website. So they test in what way? The moment you get to the top, right away there will be a footfalls of organic traffic get to your, your content. And Google will start measuring how long does that users or the traffic engage with your content? How long do they stay on there? Do they actually read the whole thing? Do they interact with it? Do you have do they interact with any link, an internal link that you set in there? When they were reading through, do they see any other related article that they find interesting enough for them to click on. So Google, when they measure all that stuff, they create a filter. And the moment you don't pass that filter, meaning that user go in there and they don't find your content valuable, they get out in like 30 seconds, meaning they don't even read anything. After only a week or so, your content will fall. So you see a lot of users who use 
or try to do SEO, you think of SEO as such a short term project, right? You think that, oh, it's just rank this keyword. That's it for SEO. And that's could be, no, this, this like could not be further from the truth, right? It, it's SEO is all about long lasting, sustainable results because you want to be there for a long run because it will eventually bring you organic traffic time over time and that organic traffic will turn out into your converted um, users, people who pay for you. So that to us is the future of inbound marketing, future of SEO. And because it's all come back to content and the quality of it, we decide to create Writer's End. And Writer's End, unlike many other tools who sell you purely features, one single feature like keyword research or content writing or AI writing or topics, you know, finding topics, we integrate the entire workflow into one because that's what SEO is. SEO is a series of steps that you follow. It's not one thing you do good. Like, oh, I'm just gonna do this amazing keyword research and I'm gonna find all these keywords and then I'm gonna rank for them. That does, it doesn't work that way. It start with optimizing your own page, making sure that your website is clean, nice, organized. All the information is neatly put in orders. Um, all the topic, that, and then it go into the topic that you choose. What is your main topic? What is your subtopic that support that main topic? What are all the keywords under each of these topics that you cover? And then the article that you write, is it optimized? Is it better? Is it longer than your competitor? Does it in, in, include all the keyword needed? It's a series of a lot of different steps. And if you use different tools, you will see that you have to buy like 10 tools, right? And each tool will give you a tons of different data points or some tool will give you not only backlinks data, but a series of backlinks of backlinks and then referral links and then all kind of insanely, which is Full, dashboard full of data. And we find that most of the time you maybe use up 10% of the tool that you bought. And we find that that's such a waste. And what we build is we include all of that into a single unified workflow from start to finish. We don't recommend you to go in just for one single feature, unless you have other step covered by other tools and you only need one fe features from ours, that's that's fine. But if you only use Writer's End, like you are new users, maybe you're an app small, so you're an early adopter, you are a solo entrepreneur, you just have, you start out with blogging and you wanna do SEO, follow our workflow. That's what we design our tool to be. We don't just sell you a single feature. We don't just tell you, oh, go for Writer's End because of our keyword research. I never said that. It's a discipline to follow from start to finish. And that is, how Writer's End was built and the problem that we try to solve. And in during this whole thing, right, we create a few key features that distinguish us from the rest of other competitors. Um, first one, well, I will, I will go into that later actually. That will be in the, in the <laughs> separate one. All right, so that essentially is the story of Writer's End, why we create and, well, basically is how it is built and the problem we try to solve. So. Welcome to all of you guys who just started Route Writers End. I understand it's a bit overwhelming when you start looking at the dashboard and everything, but trust me, everything have its reasons. And now I'm going to go into the tool itself and share with you the way we structure our...